what's up YouTube? This video will be installing valve train components. So cams, cam towers, cam followers, and maybe even uh, front timing cover. Stick around. First step here is uh, the cam followers, and you can see here we still have them all in order. So what I'll, I like to do first, even though everything's clean, I like to just take a, a blower and just blow all these holes out, make sure there's no uh, dirt or debris that kind of fell in there. Put everything right back in the same order it went in. What I'll do first, I'll come put a little, just a little dab on the end of the valve stems. And it won't take long. Once the, the engine's, uh, the oil, oiling system's primed, it won't take long to, to get oil up to everything. But uh, we have all these followers, we have them all like oiled down. But what we'll do, uh, we'll clean them, wipe them with a dry rag, clean them, and we'll just uh, some of this assembly lube on them. Doesn't take a, a whole lot. And put them back in the same spots they went in. Uh, we, we did a lot of the work already, uh, taking everything apart with the... Uh, clearances and all that so this that's one step that's basically out of the taken out of the equation um, so yeah we'll uh, clean them all with a good rag good, good dry rag Let's see here get the focus in yeah, we'll clean it and then we'll put a little assembly lube on it and uh, yeah check back and we have them all in all right so the next little part here since we got all the followers in is, uh, I want to put these tensioners on Now we'll move on to the uh, to the valve drain. All right, so the next step here is uh, the cam towers. Uh, what we'll do first, before we silicone anything, is we'll set this uh, bank to exhaust cam and kind of in place here and. Uh, kind of a cheap method I found is uh, taking this uh, exhaust cam gear for bank 2 here and you want to stick it on the end of here you don't need to bolt it on or anything but you kind of want to cheat it cheat it where it needs to go which is uh, pretty close to the area of like uh, perpendicular perpendicular with the head so that's pretty close to where it needs to be kind of like right in there so this is the this is the uh, parallel with it the head and this is 90 degrees from the surface of the head and like you just put this gear on here to get it close pull the gear back off because you're not putting the gears on yet and then We'll go ahead and silicone the top. And 
if you uh, pay attention here, you'll see the same little line, the little groove here that you had silicone previously. feel like you got a little bit much just smooth it and kind of take some off while you smooth it and this is all going to wash out the oil anyway so don't be too terribly concerned about it can the holes lined up there we're pretty close this should be a pretty much a little bit pretty close to like parallel to the ground and you'll be plenty close enough to, to where this will keep you from pistons hitting valves and all that. Right now we're going to drop all our bolts in.
Yeah, this bolt on the end here kind of feels like it's trying to. It feels like it's not trying to take the 10 foot pounds. So, you know, after you tighten a bunch of these, you feel one that feels like it's not. I guess turn it a little bit too much, just shut it down and, and stop, you know. Because you don't want to you don't want to pull threads. This side's done. We'll move on uh, over to the to bank one. I had the, the camera in a little bit of a different spot so you can see a little better what I'm doing with the gears. Stick up a little bit here, but once it bolts down, it'll push those uh, it'll push those springs and compress. The same way, roughly. This one right, right in there somewhere. This bolts in. Pre-clocking, we'll call it pre-clocking the cams. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.